think I'm probably about a mile in, so 95 to go. I'm not going to film too much at the beginning because I know that the beginning it's not the most exciting part. There's a lot of just farm fields and tracks, a bit of industrial, the first part's a bit industrial, going by the side and down the side of the industrial estate, so I'm not going to bother with filming too much in the beginning. But the only reason I brought you back is just because on the West Highland Way Facebook page, which I belong to, um, there is a chap that posts videos. Um, I don't know his name actually, but he posts videos of um, of how to pronounce all the names along the West Highland Way correctly. Because obviously lots of tourists and people that aren't local, including some of the locals, really struggle with it. And I've been watching him and learning so I can try and pronounce the names correctly to try and be as respectful as possible. And there he is, I've come up the first hill and he's sitting at the bench and I recognise him straight away. So just had a 10 minute chat with him. So that was quite cool, meeting him and saying hello to him. So yeah, okay, cool. Anyway, uh, I'll bring you back later in, uh, if hopefully there's something more interesting to show you. All right, bye. Um, about four miles-ish in, roughly so far. Um, only about 92 to go. Um, but first views, um, the path so far is a bit of a, all much just gravel track really but uh, nothing, um, it's a few for a little bit of forest and woods to walk through, um, but nothing um, spectacular, but just turn the corner and look at that. Nice view, beautiful. And that's why I'm out here. So I'm still pinching myself because I can't believe I'm finally managed to get in. I'm doing it after years of planning and whatever. So I'm still, um, still feels a bit surreal at the moment. I'm not quite there. And look, Highland cows in the background there. I'll take a picture of those in a minute and I'll put those up at the end of the video. But yeah, look at that. Wonderful views. So, um, lots of people overtaking me because I'm doing what I promised and not doing my usual route march thing. I'm taking it nice and easy, nice and slow. Having said that, there's only four others than me that I've seen so far that have got full backpacks on. Everyone else seems to be using the baggage service and just got day packs on. Um, only two of those are in front of me and they're camping at the campsite which I'm not so that's not an issue and the other two are behind me and they look like they were carrying everything but the kitchen sink and they stopped about a mile in they look like they were really struggling so two young lads so they could be having a difficult day uh, but today is supposed to be the easiest day out of everything it's actually relatively flat and quite nice he says as he's going down a steep bit which is step three while he's trying to film yeah so look at that yeah look at nicer okay just a quick update um i'm nearly there's drongoin distillery where they make scotland's finest whiskey unfortunately and don't tell anyone else this i actually can't stand the stuff i don't really like him much so it's a bit of a shame really because they're all over Scotland and they're nice places to visit and get some stuff but it's not for me I'm afraid. So the reason I've turned on the video for this and hopefully you can hear me it's a bit breezy um, it's because I've seen this on YouTube it's Gartness Bridge but you can get your finger out of the way but what everybody shows on YouTube so it'd be rude for me not to you see the sign there honesty box ice coke sweets you go over here can of coke, a quid, lion bars, ice lollies and stuff in our sea box. Pretty cool really. Yeah, I might treat myself to a can of coke while I'm here. Cool, yeah. Um, I've got about a mile and a bit, a quarter or so, to get to Drummond, which is the end of the first stage. Uh, you can see hills in the background there, look. And I think if you look there, that one there, that is Conic Hill, 
which I'm going up tomorrow and that forest over there is where in the background before Conic Hill is where I'm going to wild camp I think tonight okay so I just thought I'd give you just a quick overview of, um, of what I've done today um, I'll do a video and show you my camp in a minute well, I'm just gonna get something to eat in a little while um, so I started here my old guy this morning at about nine o'clock um, got myself a baked sandwich went up through here um, across down a bit of road walking there not too far then up through around here up to the, I showed you the distillery um, there's a cafe there it's quite interesting I took some pictures which I'll show you um, had a panini and a drink there and then followed the carried on going up all the way up to here and then this is about a two and a half mile three mile stretch of road walking which is not particularly pleasant nobody likes walking roads hikers at the best of times um, it's no fun and it bleeding hurts your feet especially at the end of the day so I could have done without that really um, it was in two minds whether to go and camp or to go and get something to eat went down into Drummond um, was going to get something to eat but decided that actually I'll just have a pint and, um, and a packet of crisps and then um, just make my way back up and I've come back up which is up through here um, was going to camp there in the wild camp that was my designated spot but actually it's full of rubbish where people have just abused the camping wild camping um, areas and it's just awful um, I did take a picture of it so um, I wasn't comfortable camping there so I ended up coming up here a bit further and I'm about roughly somewhere around where between this blue and this red dot here which is about mile 14 so uh, yeah not too bad really so that's what I've done hi everyone back again uh, finally made it to camp uh, camping in the forest um, you can see my tent there behind me and in the background there you can see my kitchen set up making myself a, a meal and I've already made myself a cup of tea and just gonna sit and relax and chill out and massage my poor sore feet um, yeah so look just give you a bit of a tour of where I am um, the trail is there's a there there's a bush there it's the other side of that bush there uh, but there's obviously a, a place here that people camp um, you can see there's evidence of people camping here before it wasn't where I was going to stop but unfortunately where I was going to stop um, it was full of rubbish uh, I might put that picture up um, at the end of the video but uh, and it didn't feel really comfortable just people just spoil it really for everyone else just by dumping the rubbish everywhere which is really irritating um, but yeah so yeah I'm camped at so I think I'm camped at mile 14 um, so that's pretty good going um, it's not too bad I was aiming for sort of like 12 and a half 13 so I've gone a bit further than I intended but um, I, that's because of that camping spot that wasn't really suitable so um, my feet are sore um, and a bit tender but I'm going to massage them and do 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 whatever I can to, to look after them and um, hopefully get a decent night's sleep tonight uh, tomorrow the weather's not looking so good tomorrow so I don't really know how it's going to play out I've got Conic Hill to do and I'm hoping to get some v good views for, for myself and for you for Loch Lomond but it all depends on the weather it's going to rain um, and I know certainly in the evening it's going to be pretty bad and I'm hoping to camp on Loch Lomond Beach tomorrow night but I don't know depending on the weather whether that's going to be feasible or not uh, I'll have to just see how it goes really um, that's it really, I don't think there's much else to say. Didn't do a lot of filming because there were so many people on the trail. Um, it's just so busy, it's just impossible to uh, to film. And it's not the most exciting. The first day is quite flat, it's a lot of farm, you know, farmland. Um, not too many amazing views. A few quirky houses and signs and bits and pieces and a cafe I went to and I took some pictures and I'll show you those at the end. Um, so you can have a quick look at those. Uh, but other than that, um, yeah, not a bad first day really. So. Uh, roll on tomorrow and see what tomorrow brings. So uh, I'll catch you tomorrow on day two. Cheers. Bye.